All right, students. So today we're going to talk about um, the geography SBA, right? In terms of the actual breakdown associated with the SBA, um, and this is in fact associated with the CSEC syllabus. All right. Now, this being said, every single SBA would actually have a general format, and that being said, also we must bear in mind that these particular formats, right, has to have some level of commonality in terms of marking and grading and stuff like that. Um, I would like to highlight to you generally the, the main content that you should have in your write-up. All right, as you can see on your screen, um, the main content can be, can uh, be associated with the table of contents. All right, the introduction, the aim, the location of study, methodology, presentation of data, analysis and discussion, conclusion, and bibliography. These here, I in fact one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the nine. All right, major components that is needed in the write-up that must be present in your write-up for you to get these specific marks. Now, let us begin with the introduction. All right, like everything else, our introduction is so important to the point where the word introduce, right, gives you some level of flexibility to highlight to the reader, right, um, any area of the, the specific area that you are referring to, the area of interest. All right, you must be able to be general as well as also be specific, all right, in terms of um, referring to where this particular area is, what is, uh, in fact, the characteristics of it, um, anything that is actually pertinent to the SB itself, all right? So you must be able to provide to the reader some level of understanding, all right? And that being said, all right, when you highlight something to any given reader, they, it must be clear, all right? It must be understandable. It must be something that can actually resonate. For instance, if I have never ever been to Trinidad, I've never ever been to the capital, I'm just assuming here, right? Um, I would utilize uh, the introduction, all right, as a means of understanding better. So it is a mechanism, the introduction is a way to which you can highlight a little more, right? Assuming that the person you, that you are trying to um, focus this SBA towards, all right, that person is in fact perhaps well introduced, impressed, right, in terms of what you gathered. All right, and this is this is actually very very important as well. Now let us move on quickly into the aim. Now in most instances, sometimes SBAs have groups, right, and where each individual will decide to simply have the same aim. Or sometimes SBAs can be done individually. In the past, I remember when I was in school, we had to. Um, um, conduct our SBAs for ourselves, do our site visit ourselves, right? And the fact of the matter is that we had no intervention really, not much per se with respect to the teachers and so So they would just guide us and we would have to go out there and do our own SBA as a matter of fact. But the aim, right, should in fact be very specific. It should in fact be very clear. This statement, right, will, should be very specific and very clear in terms of um, in some instances, it might highlight where exactly your SB is based upon and what you are um, attempting to determine, all right? Um, we should also bear in mind that if your aim is, in fact, vague, all right, this would affect you, it would affect your mark. Why is that? It would defeat the entire purpose because you must be um, very specific, you must be clear, all right? You must actually highlight, all right, to the reader, um what you are presenting what you are your objective is okay now thirdly we like to focus upon location of study all right um and location of study is in fact associated with maps specifically we are referring to two maps or i should say at least two maps and uh, class we have one general map as you can see in most instances we'll have a general map um show, showcasing the main area all right, for example, we might have a map of Trinidad or a map of the entire country, especially given we belong to an island. So in that particular map, we will show um, certain specifics. We will talk about it just now. Now, the second map, all right, is in fact a very, very specific map, very zoomed in, if I should say. All right. Um, the second map, as a matter of fact, will vary from the first map. Now, students, I forgot to mention earlier is that um, all maps should have, sorry, all maps generally, all right, should have a border. They should have a proper title, all right? They should have a north arrow to determine directionality and whatnot. There must also be a very specific key, 
All right, so all these things are very, very important. Um, the first map, which is a general map, can in fact be a traced outline of, say, the country or the area itself. Um, it must be to scale. It must have a scale. Do not rush that. You cannot. The second map, which is a specific map, is a more zoomed in version. All right, um, you can, perhaps if you are utilizing Google Earth, um, but then again, to trace that is maybe a bit problematic. But the fact of the matter is that in most instances, people usually um, sketch the second map. All right. Again, you must have the same. They must have a, a not the same, but they must, have, they must have a title. They must, in fact, possess um, uh, a key. All right. The north arrow, a proper border. Okay. You must clearly show the study area in map one and map two. Okay. For instance. If we were to look at the screen here, we could actually see, um, assuming we are referring to Trinidad and Tobago, and you can see on top here we have a scale. All right? This is a scale at the surface. Now, we can also see a border here. What is missing is that we don't have a title, we don't have a key. All right? And these things are very, very important. You need to have that. For example, you always try your best to put the capital and stuff like that. You can also, if you want, you can do that. You could just go directly into the study area itself. Especially if the study area belongs to the is found in the capital itself. All right. Um, so there goes. All right. So just make sure neatness marks will be awarded for neatness, for clarity, for um, presentation and whatnot. All right. Let us assume this is a a sketch. All right. It actually shows the the roads. It shows the road networks. It shows the general outline, as well as some some specifics as well. All right. For example, this is Port of Spain here. Um, you could actually see certain street names. Um, you could actually have symbols, right? And these symbols might just be represented on the map, but instead of putting the word hospital here, you can have a key somewhere on the map where you could just simply write this, put, include a symbol and indicate what it is, all right? The same thing, you could actually use color codes where the roads themselves can be color coded. You can have a symbol to highlight your two distinctive areas that you are studying or your multiple areas that you are studying is your choice. All right, just remember you have uh, you can also indicate um, whether it is drawn to scale or if it is not drawn to scale. All right, it's your choice. Okay. This is a, this is simply an image I'm showing you here right now. I'm giving you some ideas. I don't want to like spoon feed, but the fact of the matter is that you can use your creativity when it comes to this. All right, you can. If you apparently have like a water course running through, for example, the Marva River here. This can be perhaps in a blue, and you can put a blue line in your key representing um, a river, all right, and indicate specifically what river it is, all right. So symbols can be utilized. So you, you can see automatically you need a key. Um, these maps, if they are sketched maps, most of the times they are well. If they are sketch maps, all right, you don't use a scale. You could simply write at the base, not drawn to scale, all right. Indicate your title. For example, map two referring to a specific outline of the study area. You understand? And you, you be very specific, a little more specific and not too general like the first map. All right. As you can see also, this is a zoomed in section. All right. As you can see, this is Port of Spain. So the first map would actually show you this, Trinidad. But when you zoom in, Port of Spain is here. You could actually see something like, like this. You understand? A certain portion of the capital. And afterwards, we have the methodology. Now, students, the methodology is very important, but at the same time, very, very concise and very, very clear. All right? Don't write no long paragraph with respect to this. Remember, you have a word limit. Um, in the past, it was approximately 1,500 um, words. I believe now you have a word limit for the entire SBA, that is. Um, should not be even exceed, it should not even exceed 1,000 words. And that is, of course, excluding your bibliography, your illustrations, and stuff like that. Anyway, so for the methodology, we would have several, three main components that we'll be talking about. Now, for the first part, we will be talking about where data was collected. So you can simply say where. Now, very briefly, like for example, um, data was collected along um, perhaps Baden Powell Street and also um, at French Street. All right, specifically referring to the, the exact locations. All right, I'll just give you an example here. Um, in Port of Spain, that is. When, 
when you are seeing indicating when the data was collected, give a date, right? Provide a date. Um, also provide a time, right? So it could give you on the reader an understanding as to what um, time frame you were there and give them a better understanding of the conditions and whatnot, especially if it's very geographic. Um, thirdly, we can also highlight how data was collected. Now, this part, how, right, will be a little more in depth than when and where. When and where are simply statements. How data were collected, you need to actually be very specific and very, very clear, right? If you are vague, the reader might actually have doubt, all right? Um, you need to be very clear in terms of uh, how. For example, you include what you walked with on that particular day, all right? You include the strategy you used. For instance, if you are determining temperature, all right, you indicate that you have you you had your thermometers, um, you had your notebooks, and you tally your information and stuff like that. You use a stopwatch to determine the time frame um, before um, uh, tallying up your information. Also, be before you attain to obtain obtain rather your readings. All right, so that's actually very, very important as well. Now, bear in mind that the all these contents, all right, they follow a kind of chronological order. They have a very sequential pattern. If you falter in any one of these as you go down the SBA, you will actually get some problems, all right? If you cannot determine how you determine how you collected information, how do you expect to analyze or to discuss your findings? You must first be able to understand what you are doing, all right? So there's a, in, there's a, a personal or individual note you should keep in mind, always keep that in mind. Very quickly, let us talk about the presentation of data. Now, the findings or the results that you would have gathered after you employ the methodology, that same findings like tables, like graphs, um, charts, you can include that same data in different formats. Now, that is where you must use your creativity, all right? You must employ your mathematical skills, all right? Just so you can see how different subjects can actually correlate. Uh, you must actually represent these particular pieces of information in a very distinctive way using graphs, charts. Try your level best not to utilize um, a particular graph type more than once. All right, you can see if you can change the bar again. But bear in mind for me that, for example, temperature, you will actually use a line graph. Rainfall, you will use a bar graph. But anything you can represent in a different format all right, so you can actually do so. This is where you must use your mathematical skills and creativity. Now, your analysis and discussion is, in fact, the biggest mark earner, right, in the entire SBA. You have to analyze your data. Now, class, when I say analyze, you have to look critically as to what you have. Look, look for patterns. Look for things that you can observe, certain trends, all right? You need to interpret this a data set, all right, and put it in the form of words and make it easier for the examiner, right, or for the reader to, um, to show. You must be very, very explicit. Uh, and this will actually have a very distinctive, um, elaborate discussion, as a matter of fact. All right, so this is where you must use your um, interpreting skills. Also, for the conclusion, everything has a conclusion, an ending. And you must be able to summarize what you learned, summarize what you analyzed, summarize what you discuss. Um, in addition to this, your, your conclusion must in fact show some level of relation to your aim. All right. And when you say show in relation to your aim class, this simply means you must be able to, to kind of connect the dots. It must go all the way back to your aim and the objective of the SBA. All right. And last, the last component of your SBA should, in fact, be the bibliography, which is only one mark. But trust me, class, it is, in fact, one very, very crucial mark. All right? As you can see, it must be in alphabetical order, often in an APA style, um, in order where you have the title of the author, um, you have the publisher, the place, the date, the understand date of, uh, for the least, for, uh, for two references, for two um, specific uh, components that you want to highlight. All right. Um, bear in mind also, you can use a specific font. The font size can be often 12. Your headers can be a little bigger if you want. Uh, make sure you justify your document. All right. Press the justify tab. And double line spacing is, in fact, uh, 
highly recommended. All right, students, hope you